Well, uh, it's what life is all about, isn't it? Um, uh, I, I believe that the way we should judge our, our society is by how, how much people are enjoying their lives. And uh, that applies just as much at work as in the rest of life. So I think well-being is an issue for individuals, but it's also a business issue. For, for individuals, we know a lot about how they feel about their life at work, uh, and it's not terribly good news. The new science of happiness um, has led to people to study uh, how people experience, say, the previous day of their life. So they, they write down what they were doing, uh, who they were with, and how they felt. Um, and the depressing story is, and this comes from a, a large number of surveys now, the time of day that people most dislike is the time when they spend with their boss. This is a pretty serious situation. So uh, I would say that uh, managers are not doing a great job uh, in, 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 in our modern society in terms of promoting the well-being of their, their people. They're not obviously inspiring them. There's an element of fear and so on associated um, with work, which um, may not be functional for the following reason. Look at it from the point of view of the business. Uh, we can follow um, the stock price of companies uh, according to how good they are as places to work. So if you take the 100 best places to work um, in 1985 uh, in the United States and compare them with uh, the rest of the stock market, uh, you will find that the stock price of the 100 best places to work over the following 25 years, rose 25 rose by 50 percent compared with the, the the rest of the American companies. So it pays off. It's good for the bottom line, um, and it's good for the workers. So that has got to be uh, a, a a serious priority for business.